Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, where the Huskies are cute even though they too. <laughs> Hope you're doing well today. Now you're probably watching this video because you're thinking about getting yourself a Siberian Husky or you're planning on getting one in the future. Maybe you're watching all of the videos you can find on YouTube so that you can get ready to own one of these furry fluffy Huskaronis. Getting a Husky puppy is a huge responsibility. It takes a lot of know-how. You gotta do a lot of research before you you go ahead and get yourself one. It's not a really good idea to just go on the internet and be like, uh, okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna like spend like 900 bucks and just buy one off a random person without knowing anything at all. Researching any breed is a smart idea before you get any dog, and Siberian Huskies are literally no exception, bro. Now, raising a Husky puppy is one of the hardest things in the entire world, and they need so many different things. Today, we're gonna be talking about five different things that you need to know whenever you're bringing home or preparing to get a Siberian Husky puppy. <laughs> Look at Rue in the background. He's like, bro, I gotta make my secret appearance in every episode. Yeah, you back there. Now, of course, whenever you're getting serious about getting a Siberian Husky, or any dog for that matter, you're gonna have to get a whole bunch of things. A bowl, a bed, a crate, a leash, a collar. Dude, we're not talking about that stuff today. That's the obvious stuff, and we got videos about all that junk. Today, we're talking about the really hard stuff. Stuff that people don't talk about in YouTube videos. Real life situation stuff that you need to prepare for, especially if you're gonna get a Siberian Husky. Need to know everything? This video's got you covered. So let's get straight into it. Let's not waste any time. Let's talk about five things you need to prepare yourself for whenever you're getting or thinking about preparing to get a Siberian Husky puppy. You guys ready? Come on, let's go. Ooh, look at the cinnamon bun. It just hangs out for fun. Look at that cinnamon booty butt. Oh yeah, I want to take you to Pizza Hut. Are you ready to share the info, missus? Okay, let's do it. Shake on it. Good, good girl. You ready to do the info, bro? All right, let's do it. Okay, so you've done a lot of research on the internet. This is the dog for you. It's the dog you want, a Siberian Husky. You've watched a lot of 60 Formula videos. You've seen Gone to the Snow Dogs. You've probably seen Gohan the Husky. Either way you slice it, this is the dog you've chosen and there's no going back, bro. Now before you go and you pick him up in your truck, let's learn some tricks and tips, some things to get you prepared and ready so that you're ahead of the curve, you're ahead of the ball. Because once you let a Siberian Husky take advantage of you, it's game over, bro. All right, so the very the very first thing that you want to do whenever you're bringing a Siberian Husky home to your house for the very first time, especially if they're a puppy, is you want to get rid of all of the cords that are at ground level. Now I can hear a lot of you in the comments saying, dude, what? I can't get rid of all the cords and the wires at ground level. That's where they all sit, dude, on the floor. It's absolutely true that most of us at home, we have wires just like this in between pieces of furniture, all willy nilly, just like wherever, you know what I mean? There is a plethora of places where wires are just completely exposed. Now it goes without saying, Siberian Husky puppies are a lot of work. And one of the things you're gonna notice right off the bat is that you gotta keep your eye on them all the time and it's exhausting. It's not like an itty bitty baby right when they're born. I mean, little babies when they're born, they sit in one spot. They can't even crawl or walk. <laughs> not Siberian Husky puppies. They know how to go everywhere and reach places that you didn't even think were possible. So that's one of the biggest issues Issues, is you're gonna have to remember to keep your eye on them all of the time. And if you don't, they're probably gonna get into a lot of trouble. Just accept the fact that you're probably going to get outsmarted by your husky puppy, or you're gonna forget, you're gonna lose sight of them for a moment, it just happens to the best of us. But with that said, you gotta make sure that all of the wires all over your house that are on ground level are removed because if they aren't, a husky puppy's favorite thing to chew is something sticking out of the wall. This over here is a husky puppy's worst nightmare. I would remove all of this before I brought a husky puppy home because this is exactly what a husky puppy wants to chew on. Now when a Siberian husky puppy chews on wires, it's not a good ending. They can get injured or even die. This is why it's extremely important to remove every wire at ground level or block them off before you bring your husky puppo home. So, okay, maybe it's not possible for you, right? Maybe you're like, all my wires are at ground level. What, what, do you, what do you expect me to do? Check this thing out back 
block here behind my TV. It's just this white hollow block that clips all of the cords that go from the TV down here and it manages them perfectly. If you get a bunch of these little white containers back here, they stick right to your wall. You can put them along the edges of your home and hide all of the cords in there. So numero uno, be sure you hide those cords. I can't stress it enough. Huskies get into everything when they're puppies and they're going to bite on the cords around your home. If it doesn't harm them, it's gonna destroy your sweet, sweet electronic devices. Getting into number two, create boundaries. It's important to Husky puppy development that they're only allowed access to one room at a time as they grow older and as they get smarter. If you let your Husky puppy have free roam of your entire house right out the gate, not only is it gonna stress you out because you're gonna have a hard time keeping an eye on them, but they're gonna have more accidents, they're gonna get into more trouble because they know that they can get away with stuff when you're not watching. It's easier and better to train them when whenever they know that they are being watched and they have a parental figure around. So there are three different ways that you can keep an eye on your Husky puppy. Let's go over them real quick. The first way is with baby gates and we already kind of discussed this. Baby gates are the best way to keep barriers around your house. You set them up and you're good to go. You don't really have to think about it. Keep your Husky puppy in a room that you're usually in and make sure they can't get to other rooms or like the kitchen or the living room when you're not there. You can take your Husky puppy places with you throughout the house. They can see other things, but make sure that you're always giving them adult supervision and never let them go somewhere that you aren't, especially in the first few months of their life. The next way is with dog pins. Dog pins are a great alternative to baby gates. Instead of blocking off an entire room, you create a little itty miniature room of its own and your doggo gets to sit and chill in there. Now, this kind of blocks you off from your husky puppy, so it's not the ideal solution, but they are good for whenever you're doing something like doing the dishes in the kitchen, but you still want your husky pup to stay in the living room. Room. And the final way is belt leads. You can keep your husky puppy on a lead that is attached to your pants at all times. So wherever you are, your husky stays right next to you. This is a very effective way of keeping your husky puppy next to you. And it's a good way for them to learn that staying next to you is super duper important. A lot of people do this and a lot of trainers encourage belt leads. Either way you go, just remember, barriers for Siberian husky puppies are super important and you shouldn't skip out on them. The third thing you need to know and get prepared for is creating schedules for your husky puppy. If the first thing you do when you bring your husky puppy home is create a schedule and you stick to that schedule throughout the first few months of your husky puppy's life, so many things are going to go right and positive for you and your doggo. It's going to make things bread and butter. Creating schedules and sticking to them, making sure you're doing them every day like same potty time, same potty place every single day, bro. They're gonna learn how to be potty trained faster. They're gonna learn how to do tricks quicker. And it's gonna teach your husky puppy to know the difference between night and day, which Britney Spears has not figured out yet. Dude, why are you napping, bro? It's daytime. One of the things you're gonna have to get used to when you're bringing home a husky puppy, unfortunately, is that husky pups, they don't know that nighttime means sleep and daytime means hanging out. So when you're sleeping in the middle of the night, your husky's gonna wanna poo poo and pee pee and play games and build Legos and do all that crazy stuff. And you're you're gonna be like, oh bro, I'm literally a zombie. So if you stick to a schedule, your husky is going to learn the difference between night and day much, much faster. Schedules are going to expedite every single learning process when it comes to dogs. That's my number one advice for people is do something over and over and over and typically within two weeks, your doggo's got a down pat. Number four, be sure that you are training your husky puppy early. You can start training them as soon as you get them. One question I get all the time on the channel is Yo60 formula. Is it too late to start training my husky or is it too early to start training my husky? Train your husky as soon as you get them. Siberian huskies can learn a bunch of different tricks at a very young age. So never think it's too early to start training them. The earlier you start training them, the better. And if you start training them to focus on you and listen to you early on, you're gonna establish that alpha position, which means your husky is going to look at you and be like, bro, you're the leader. I trust and respect you. And that's an important role between a relationship with you and a Siberian Husky. Be sure you're teaching them the basic commands, which you can learn how to teach your Husky by watching our Husky Training 101 playlist found on our YouTube channel, bro. And last but not least, socialize your Siberian 
Siberian Husky. Socialize, socialize, socialize. When you have a Husky puppy, the best thing to do is expose them to different types of people, different heights, different genders, different animals. Let them check out different puppies, different sized dogs. Socializing your puppy is the best way to get them to be used to different environments whenever they get older. Anytime you go to a vet, whenever you get a Husky puppy, first thing they're gonna tell you, make sure you socialize them. Introduce them to little babies, introduce them to other dogs. It really helps out with behavior. A lot of dogs that have behavior problems aren't socialized properly. So don't have your Husky sit in a hole whenever you buy them. Be sure you're socializing them as much as you can. Call up your friends or even inquire the community about playdates with doggos. So that's gonna be it from us today. We had a blast teaching you all of the things that you need to know whenever you're getting yourself a Siberian Husky puppy. There's so much more than just getting a bowl, getting a collar, and getting a leash. You gotta be prepared for all the ins and outs, all the intricate things that Husky puppies do and behave like whenever you get them. If you guys had fun today, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss any more Huskaroni Pizza episodes and you stay up to date with all the doggo goodness. Until next time, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What? Yep, you guessed it. Whatever we make. Peace! Ba da ba da ba 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 